Good morning. Today is the most exciting day of the year. Today is the most incredible experience you're ever going to have. Today is going to be better than Christmas, better than New Year, better than all of them put together. Today, we are going to share a drawing with one of the greatest illustrators of all time. Not the last five years, not the last 10 years, of all time. We're going to share a drawing with Ralph Steadman. Look at that. <laughs> I am so excited. So, Ralph Steadman is going to draw the first blot of ink and he's going to start the drawing, start the energy and we're going to finish it. How incredible is that? How oh, I am so excited. I cannot wait to start. Uh, I'm going to do a few versions of this. So you'll see a few versions over the, over the, the video. There will be, I don't know, maybe five or six because I'm... Um, you know, we've got to catch up with a master here. And what he's going to do, Ralph has given us a, 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 a blot of ink in the same style that he would start one of his illustrations. And he's given us that to start the process. And then we are going to take one more stage and see what energy we can take from us to finish this illustration for or with Ralph Steadman. So, <laughs> oh, yes, you don't get many days like this. So, what we're going to try and do is we're going to take the same energy and try to finish this drawing. Okay, so what we already have here from, from Ralph is basically... It looks like we've got a nice big clean sweep there with the with a brush. Boom. Then we've got a nice big splat here right across. And possibly a second one there. And then we've got a nice kind of loose trickle of ink back through the, the, the shape. So we have this lovely imaginative start. And we're gonna finish it. <laughs> This is the best day ever. Sharing a drawing with Ralph Stedman. Ah, this is, this is, ah, I'm so excited. So, I'm going to take this drawing and take it a bit further. I'm going to take Ralph Stedman's first initial movement of ink and we're going to finish it off and do a drawing. So, stay with me. We're going to be doing five or six drawings possibly of this exact setup. So, are you ready? Okay, so we're gonna start getting ready to use the drawing. Again, this is the, the drawing pattern from Ralph Steadman. For those who don't know Ralph Steadman, well, you must be in a, living in a cave or something. Um, I remember getting a Ralph Steadman book for Christmas once um, it was called Animal Farm and that book blew my mind I've read Animal Farm at school and stuff like that but this book the illustrations in this book blew my mind and if you can think of this artist has taken classic books like Alice in Wonderland, Animal Farm, things like that, and he's re-illustrated these books better, better than the original. Then you start to think, what else has this guy done? And when you start to look around and see some of the illustrations that he has been doing over the last, whatever, 30 years or whatever it's been, might be longer, it's incredible. So today's sharing the beginning lines from Al, uh, Ralph Steadman and for us to finish this drawing is exceptionally exciting. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. 
This is the eye, this is the, the blood from Ralph and I'm going to take a couple of points on that because I don't have a printer. So I'm going to have to put this together once I've done the drawing and I've done a couple of marks to follow that pattern and we'll go ahead then and do the drawing and we'll have reference there and we'll do the drawing and we will try later on to actually blend the two drawings together. So we will have a drawing. Ralph Steadman, Kieran Seaman. How exciting is that? <laughs> so, what we're using today, I've got a, an array of pens and everything here. I've got Indian ink there. Um, I'm using dip pens, fountain pens, brush pens, charcoal, biros, pencils, whatever we feel the energy to, to, to use on this. So the first drawing we are going to do is using this lovely shape from Ralph and I am so, so excited. Um, and we're going to start in the way that only you can start with a Ralph Steadman drawing. We're going to try and capture that passion. We're looking at his lines and looking at the, the way he's put this ink down. And we are going to try to recapture that excitement. And what we're going to do is we are going to start with the best feeling on earth. We're going to do an exciting blot the same way that he has done just to give us that start, just to give us that, that release of energy, the same feeling that he has done. And then we're going to go in and we're going to start to work those lines. And we're going to try to feel some of that energy of what he's given us. And we can see we've got this beautiful curve here. And then we've got these nice little trickle of lines this way. And what I'm going to try and do is that I'm going to try to use some of those those lines here. I'm probably not going to tell you too quickly about what we're, we're going to do, but I'm hoping that very quickly you'll start to see how we're going to be putting this beautiful image together. I think this is done for some kind of... Um, I think it's for the, the Heart Foundation. And that's a beautiful thing for us to, to be part of also. Um, so we're going to work here and we're going to put some of these lines down. Now that already is so exciting. Just feeling the ink coming down. Putting that ink together. And what we're going to try and do here, we're going to try and use that energy that he's built up there on that big curve. I'm going to use that as almost like the cheek of the animal. And here I'm going to try and draw a lovely, very rare rhino. And that, that was the first thing I saw there with that big circle there and then the, the dot coming off here. And that's the, the lovely idea of the, the rhino's horn and drop another ear down there so you can hopefully you can start to see where we're we're aiming with this and what we're trying to do with this for those people that have not seen much of Ralph's work please take the time please go and research what he's done because you will be more more than 
excited. You'll be more than surprised. The work that he's done through the years, I mean, just it's just incredible. And he's one of those artists that, I mean, he seems to be rather quiet in today's kind of world, but um, which is a, a little bit sad, but but he's definitely one of the artists that should be highlighted. A British artist with such love and passion through all his work. It just, I love it. I just can't get enough of it, you know? I mean, you know, this is just like such a, I mean, it's an honor to be putting your work down next to somebody as talented, as inspirational as Ralph. I'm just trying to, what I'm trying to, to do with, with my line work is to try and capture the same feeling that he's been doing with his and with that, I'm trying to say that this he has this lovely way of making a, some very thick and heavy lines and then just be so gentle with the lines that follow it. And the contrast between these lines is just so beautiful to see when you, when you see the final work and you actually step back from it and you see how how brave he is to put some of these things down. The the drawing above me, I mean, who would be brave enough to put that huge white canvas there in front of Leonardo? My God, I would be terrified to do that. And he, he just seems to find it naturally. So here's our our face of our rhino, and <laughs> I hope you can see that. And here's our here's our back line here coming, and he's got a very small line coming around here, and that's the the line that I'm joining it on with there. And again, I'm gonna. I'm going to do another nice heavy line on top of it just to give some more weight to the, the line that Ralph's already given us. Which, once you, once we put those two drawings together, you will see how much Ralph's power in those lines dictates everything that follows and that's just so all right it's just going to be incredible once you see it i've never actually been to an exhibition um i guess it's a lot of american exhibitions these days um but i've never actually been to a gallery to to see his work, which I'm um, kind of embarrassed to say that really, but um, he's done exhibitions in New York and which obviously for us sad people here in, in the UK. Um, we won't be able to get to see him. But. And I've seen a few videos on YouTube, you should go and check out, um, where he's done stuff with the, some of the brewery, like a flying dog brewery and stuff like that.
which is also beautiful stuff. Um, it's difficult when you're kind of, when you're also a, an artist and it's difficult to kind of get to see a lot of this stuff. But I don't know if there's any um, exhibitions coming up this year, but if there is, I would love to be a part of it. So, I'm quite happy with that. I'm quite happy to see where Ralph's, Ralph's lines are going to sit around here. It's going to give us a nice, thick and heavy shoulder. And then we're going to have this very gentle line out here where I've brought on my, my thicker line to kind of give it a little bit more help. Um, and then that should balance off with that nice curve there from from Ralph and that gentle splashing out there you should be able to see a very lovely drawing <laughs> and like I said the the thought of you know I mean it, it would be I mean I don't know what what happens with these drawings are they going to be used as a as an auction for the um, for the charity or what is it going to be but um, Ralph if you're listening I will leave a space for you to do your signature there and I will do mine there <laughs> um, but that is lovely and I just just going to kind of give some lovely feeling of movement there with the rhino and um we're almost there. So hopefully the next stage on these videos is I'll show you the final result where the, the images are put together and you can see the, the final result because here it's starting to look a little bit empty but once Ralph's drawings put on top you should see this beautiful powerful um, drawing coming across and I absolutely love doing this so we have a charging rhino so I'm gonna sign this corner so Ralph you can sign over here and I'll do it oh somebody at the door hold on might be completely wrong but look what the postman's just delivered and I think I know what this is I didn't think it was going to turn up today but I'm so excited if this is what I think it is oh yes oh my god that's perfect timing Look at that. I haven't had this book. There's three of these about the extinct animals. And I have not bought these because it's a little bit expensive. And this is a perfect, oh, I'm so happy that it turned up at this point. And now I can show you 
just how amazing this guy is. Check this out. Look at that. Oh my. Beautiful feeling. Look at that. Look at some of those drawings. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, I'll have to get some money and buy the other two. But that is a fantastic book. Look at that. Can you see the illustrations on that? It's incredible. The master. Go and buy this book. And while you're at it, look. Go and buy one of my books too. <laughs> Cat Cat on Amazon. Go and check that out. Inspired by the genius, the master, Ralph Steadman. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to have to go and look at that book later. Once we finished our drawing, where were we? Signature. Wrong color. Now I see all the excitement there. It's maybe throwing me a little bit. I've been looking for those books for so long and I you know he's done so many books it's very difficult for you to actually have all of them so I bought this one oh, a couple of days back and um, very 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 exciting very exciting he's did a whole set of books for the extinction and um, but I think each book was like 30 pounds or 40 pounds or something. So I couldn't justify just going out and buying all three books, you know. But I'm so excited. I'll have to have a look through that <laughs> later on. He is one of the masters. And it's not going to be a type of book. With a Ralph Steadman book, it's a type of book that's going to take you like a month just to work through it slowly. You'll be turning page, turning page, and you'll be going back over, looking through it. Brilliant. And there we have it. One finished first stage illustration for Kieran Stevens and Ralph Steadman together on this drawing. Then I'll put it together later on and you'll see the magic come together. We'll put a bit of color maybe even in. Okay, drawing one, let's go on to drawing two. Okay, so we are back, back with the Ralph Steadman blot, and we're going to build on to that. Um, again, this is a fabulous experience for me. Um, I am an illustrator. Um, as I showed earlier, some of my books being cat cat books, you can, there's two volumes of those. Lots of very, very interesting styles in there some some illustrations in that kind of style um, I've done about 150 books so I should keep you busy and this is a challenge to draw alongside I'm not alongside because obviously he's not here but um, to work with some blots from Ralph Steadman and um, come up with some very fun and lovable uh, illustrations I'm 
in the style of my great hero, Ralph Steadman, if that's possible, for a man who's had such a massive career, a huge, huge influence to a lot of the British art scene, British illustrators. He is definitely seen as one of the greatest of all time. And this is a fantastic experience to be even being part of this. It's just a dream come true. And even in the, the smallest form that it is, it's a massive pleasure. or some kind of dinosaur together with the splashes up there and back onto the curb from Ralph from earlier and we're just trying to draw some kind of beast some kind of dinosaur some kind of dragon in fact, the dragon would be nice, wouldn't it? We've got some kind of lovely wings going on in there. That'd be nice. It's always nice to draw wings on a creature. Ralph Sturman has been illustrating books and was an illustrator for Punch. And he's had a long career of, of illustration for, in a, in, a, in a lot of cases, for um, political, or started out definitely on the political side of things. And um, so that's kind of where you would have probably seen him mostly from the beginning, probably from a lot of political cartoons and especially in uh, I think it was the Telegraph where he was quite famous for his political cartoons So that's following up on the splashes on the top there. And we're going to bring the neck of the dragon down. Oh, what a lovely sound that does. It, you know, a, a dragon and a, a nib on paper is such a beautiful sound. I think it comes in the, the category of one of my favorite sounds of all time, I think. <laughs> oh, what a sad little man I am. <laughs> but there's something exciting about it. I just, it's just one of those incredible, exciting sounds. I used to work in animation before. I worked in animation for many years. Um, you can go and read about that on my website. Um, but animation was my, my goal and my love for many years. And so I started to get into illustration and finding amazing people like Ralph Steadman 
Um, and he has remained my favorite illustrator. Uh, he just, it's very difficult to top him. He's just become the godfather of, uh, the godfather of illustration. Um, you, you know, you talk about inspirational illustrators. Ralph Sterman comes in top of the list, top of the list every time. Yeah, you know, his approach and his looseness and his freshness. Um, it just continues and it's so, so exhilarating to see somebody like Ralph Steadman when you watch him draw and you watch him putting an, a, a picture together it's just it's just delightful it's absolutely stunning I haven't actually met Ralph which I would love to meet him I would love to see a little bit closer about some of his work processes and, but he's definitely one of the best of all time I don't quite know why but some of his books now are so expensive but ones that I have are treasured as is my illustration above my desk which was a print uh, again uh, I haven't got to the stage of buying originals <laughs> not yet career you know if you look at some of the drawings in something like fear and loathing in Las Vegas it's beautiful so imaginative so crazy and there's our drinking dinosaur I hope um, I hope Ralph likes what what we're doing here I hope I hope these give him some kind of entertainment they've definitely given me a lot of entertainment I've really enjoyed this whole process so here we are with Ralph's body Ralph's spots for the neck and um, that's come up as a bit of fun I enjoyed that My name at the bottom. And hopefully at some point Ralph will sign on there as well. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? I don't quite know what happens to these drawings, whether they are are they given to the as part of some kind of charity. But it definitely has been a fantastic experience drawing this. I think we're going to do one more. And I think we'll call it a day. But there you are. An amazing dragon with his wings. and Beautiful. I enjoyed that. So, we'll do one more. Okay, just one more. <laughs> Okay, welcome back. <laughs> Sorry about the excitement with the postman, but... <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. It's, it's what happens these days. It's going to be a fabulous evening. I'm going to be going through that book. Alright, remember that today is all about doing these drawings. 
and we're going to be putting them together with Ralph Steadman's initial blot and um, that's going to be really exciting to see the end product where the two drawings come together. So you'll have Ralph Steadman's original blot lines put together with my illustration and then we'll we'll see how they fit together later on in the final images towards the end of the, the video. So we've got drawing number two. Again, this is just something about the passion again with, with Ralph Steadman's drawings. There's, there's something exciting there and something loose about the way he does and that's what I'm trying to recreate here. I'm trying to I'm trying to take his interpretation of this line and things like that and trying to make them like take the second stage of the illustration as I would imagine he would do. He would get to a point where um, so much of the illustration is like he will do that initial thing and then he will build on the illustration. So we're going to go to the next stage and I love this idea now that I've turned the, the blot upside down so you'll see a completely different angle from from what we've done before and that's again just trying to open the inspiration and um, again I'm going to put in a couple of indications about where Ralph's sketch is going to be and that'll give me something to kind of work from and and that's the kind of beautiful curve there with that splash and all the lines coming up to it which we're going to put together later on and what I'm going to try and get here is I'm going to try and get something in there with this hair I'm going to try and build up some some scruffy format of a hair on the top because so I've got this idea of of some kind of old donkey or old horse and that's the first thing that comes up there with that shape. And that's just exactly what I want to come across there. And I'm going to try to bring... Uh, bring my nib in. To kind of carry over some of that weight that we have originally put down. And again, I'm going to bring it back down. It's funny because uh, a lot of the posts these days are done with these kind of delivery drivers. So they kind of bang on the door and then walk off. <laughs> so you kind of... It's, um, it's, it's the same kind of guy every time. So um, it's lovely just to see that how much care they take with your packages. They make sure they see you before they... They kind of go anywhere with it. So now I'm gonna try and get a little bit of age with the eyes and and I'm kind of gonna switch across there from to the to a, a fountain pen and I'm just going to try to uh, get a little bit more of the gentleness with the, I find sometimes with the, the dip pen I can kind of get a little bit insanely crazy with it and what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get a little bit, a bit more of a light gentle wrinkle across this face and that's where I'm trying to get here with, with this old fountain pen. Again it's just Sometimes it just breaks up the, the 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 kind of line work of being sometimes 
with my drawings especially sometimes very very thick and very very heavy and I'm just trying to kind of uh, get a nice kind of gentle old donkey type of feeling to it and that's what I'm trying to bring across here and again my my style of eyes is a little bit more kind of cartoony than than Ralph would be for example um, but again part of this is about my style and Ralph's style combination so I'm kind of excited to see a little bit of how the two styles kind of come together or, or don't come together we don't at this stage we're kind of um, we're kind of uh, testing things out and seeing where we're going with these um, what I'll do is uh, what I should really have done was uh, to set up a video of a little bit of a time lapse on here so that people can kind of follow the drawing in a more kind of a loose fashion. Again, it will look slightly odd from from that because we're uh, we're going to be adding Ralph's lines later on, but um, I think for now it'll be fine. So there's that that line that I've been. bringing in there. Ralph's line will be nice and heavy coming across that and then we're going to try to uh, bring in a nice old hairy chin for the <laughs> poor old donkey. Now my um, my kind of daily routine is very much like this. It's a, it's a it's very much about waking up and drawing. It's, a, it's about waking up and starting the day with, with some, some passion. And the only way to do it is to... Well, I find that the more you plan it out and the more you think about how it's going to be and what it needs to be and what you're trying to achieve and stuff like that, I think sometimes it take some of the fun away from it and I think sometimes I like to feel very loose about it so a lot of times you don't really know what you're going to see or what you're going to actually draw until until it's all done and in front of you and I find that so 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 exhilarating that you're, you're kind of looking at a blank piece of paper and then all of a sudden you're throwing down some ink and then you start to you start to build on it and you start to think about well this is that and see here's where Ralph does a, the, the, the spots and I'm going to try to put in a really old crinkly leg so each morning I have this lovely exhilarating feeling that I'm going to draw, but I have no idea what it's going to be until I've done it. Until I've kind of let loose on, on the ink and things have been drawn up and things have been, things have been created in, right in front of your eyes and it's a it's a really, really beautiful, passionate way of drawing. And sometimes I look back at those drawings and, and I can see where, where somebody like Ralph and, and other artists like that um, get their, their excitement about their life and about the way that they draw and this passion that they come up with, this, this excitement for every drawing that they do. And what kind of drives them forward to draw constantly 
I mean, if you think like with Ralph Devon, how many drawings has that man done? A thousand? A hundred thousand? A million? <laughs> I mean, it, it seems like he never stops. And that's just amazing. It's just so, so exciting to think of how passionate Ralph is. Um, um, uh, I remember a book that he pulled out of 77. Um, and I don't know how many years ago that was, but for a man of that age to have such passion and excitement about what he's doing, I hope I have half that passion when I'm that age. Half of it, and I'll be a happy man. Because, you know, for, for to, to, to be an illustrator, or to be an artist, or however you label yourself, and to do it for year after year after year, and to be successful, is a, an absolute amazing achievement on its own. You know, I mean, especially now with the digital age coming in and stuff like that, it's like, it's so difficult to to keep going and to keep excited by it and keep keep the, the even the personal feeling of, of it you know how how do you keep that drive for all those years how i mean i wake up some mornings and think wow does anybody care does anybody see what i'm doing and and it, you know and i'm sure he probably does the same thing but I hope he can see how much he um, inspires so many young people into this this drawing life that he's created and, and the excitement that he's brought forward for so many people for so many years and continues. I mean, the book that just arrived, is it's a new book. It's only the last couple of years that this book has actually arrived, you know? And it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. So here is drawing number two. Some lovely old, <laughs> some lovely old donkey. Who's having a bit of a a bit of a walk? He's gone out. And it's all driven by that beautiful line from Ralph Stedman. Which is there and there. And then hopefully we'll put my donkey on top and we'll have a beautiful final image. So that's drawing two. And that's, uh, <laughs> that's already looking fun. Thank you very much. We'll go on to drawing three in five more minutes. Okay, welcome back. It's uh, drawing three. We're on drawing three. It's, it's still about 10.30 in the morning, so we've been going through these quite quickly. Um, another drawing from uh, using the the blot from Ralph Seven, and we're going to try and do another another drawing, another piece of artwork. And what we've done again is I've kind of I've tilted the the drawing again. I've turned it into a different angle just to get a different perspective from it. And we're just going to draw. We love drawing, so. You can probably see that my my whole studio here is all drawings everywhere. <laughs> so it's just a, a normal day for for us here. So here we go. We're gonna do another drawing and again like I said we turned Ralph's drawing this way. Again, it breaks up the perspective a little bit of gives us a different thing to to think about and um, I've, 
got this idea. I loved when I turned this over. This curve that Ralph had drawn instantly gave me this excitement about um, um, a lovely big kind of orangutan or something like that. Some kind of big ape. And I love this idea of uh, bringing this this wonderful hairstyle and I'll, I'll bring this more of the, the color in later on but for now I'm going to take that idea and see where I can take the line work and with Ralph's line here um, we have this lovely shape here which looks exactly like an ape's mouth and I'm gonna try and uh, work with that there and um, I'm gonna try and get some nice big eyes going on here I love the idea of this big old ape and um, uh, and again I'm just trying to think of what's going on there um, again I'm not really sure of what I'm going to do there at the moment but I'm, I'm, I'm loving this idea of using all of Ralph's lines to kind of excite or to drive us into a different direction and when I see this curve here this beautiful curve and I see the drips it's kind of telling me that that Ralph would have used those drips somewhere else in the in the drawing and so that's what I'm going to try and achieve I'm going to try to to bring them in also as part of our drawing um, I'm going to give some little nostrils there and if, see if they can fit into where we are. And Ralph has started this line here and uh, I'm going to try and bring it into a little bit more carrying on his line. If you remember on his, his blot he's already got that line there which is really beautiful and I'm going to try to kind of bring it into being part of the, the ape's face and here which is lovely and again Ralph's got some lovely splashes and dots down here and I'm going to soften that up a little bit underneath what his lines are I think that might be quite nice I kind of like you know I'm starting to see that this these lines that he's done up here kind of give me this feeling of the the ape kind of being hunched over and um, I'm gonna try and bring that down We can finish that off a little bit later on since we're still working on some of these other elements of it. Let's just clean that. And we're going to bring in some nice big heavy brow here. And see where the ape is. And I forgot to push the all this excitement you see I forgot to push the <laughs> the, uh, the video for the um, the, the speed drawing you know the, uh, and here's we got 
Ralph's line here and then my line on top and I'm hoping that that will feed each other as that comes down and let's just blow, take that blob off darken some of those lines down there above where he's got his lines and that should really give us some some lovely feelings I'm going to bring the, the arms in so I kind of get that feeling that he's kind of hunched up sure what an orangutan's ears look like but I'm going to try and do it in, uh, in this type of style oh look at that lovely bleed there look at that it's just taking over my whole drawing that that bleed coming in there we'll try and paint that some later and I've got this idea here of the way that these lines have come down here from Ralph, that I'm gonna I'm gonna use them as an indication that he would have he would have been thinking about using some kind of possibly like a banana or something stuck on the top of the ape's head. And I think that might be quite fun. You know, I like the, the, sometimes the the great humour that comes across in Ralph's work is just <laughs> phenomenal. Uh, so I'm going to try to to bring it in there and have some kind of banana peel, some kind of banana stuck on top of his head, and we can kind of get a nice big thick body to it. Some extra dividing lines through the banana so we've got our very quickly there we've got our ape and the banana on his head based around Ralph's lines and um, just trying to get a little bit more with that mouth that will come across that will join it might look strange at the moment but that will join onto Ralph's drawing later And this one I shall put my name in black because I'm going to continue painting that red down um, later on. So that the, the kind of name will stand out different from the body of the, the, the orangutan. Unless I drop ink on top of it. And there we have the next drawing. And I'll put that together with, with Ralph's drawing later. And we'll see how that works and how that captures the, the energy that he's built up around there. And that dot's coming up. So, let's go and do another one. Okay, I've put that one away. And we're going to start another one. So... I've got this kind of imagination thing going on here of um, some of these crazy kind of um, human figures that, that Ralph comes up with. And I thought I could do something playing around with the idea of um, with that. Obviously, we'll start again with Ralph's line here and the dots. Again, we're just, I'm just going to put that in as my guide at the moment. He's got this big black line here, which I kind of feel is part of the action. And I'd like to use that as part of the, the kind of walking figure that I'm going to approach here. And I'm going to start with continuing his line work around. And that's what I would like to, to start with here. And I like the idea of having a, a kind of a slightly crazed haircut and 
And on top of that haircut, I'm going to put a lovely bowler hat. And that will give us this kind of this kind of um, businessman type feeling that I'm thinking about here. I don't know why, but it kind of just gave me this feeling of some kind of four-legged businessman. And again, here I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that up there, but at the moment I'm quite fired up by by this big grumpy businessman that's going to bring bring our body and head together here and um, <clears throat> again I'm going to just switch pens just to because I kind of feel like I want to bring in something nice and light and and I, I think the the judgment to to change and shift pen also gives this lovely balance on drawings sometimes when you're trying to get a nice thick and thin feeling and sometimes I've got to be very careful that I don't do things too thick. Um, I can I can be a little bit guilty of that sometimes. That sometimes I look at my drawing and think, "Oh, you could have eased off on that a little bit. You could have gone a little bit easier on it." Giving a nice big big cigar. And that's we're going to here with this kind of kind of insane type of businessman. And again, I'm going to use Ralph's big kind of blot here, and I'm going to try and make it into a kind of a, a walking walking leg part of part of this businessman's suit. And. We all love to get into those hands, don't we? Let's just do a really big old gnarly fingers and hands coming in there. Well, you know, you can kind of look at some of Ralph's drawings and get see how excited he gets with drawing hands. And and when you look at some of his old drawings of, of some of these hands and fingers and uh, just beautiful go and have a look at some of Ralph's drawings go and have a look through some of the older more political stuff and um, there used to be another um, great artist very similar in style or they were similar for a while there which was Gerald Scarf uh, I don't see anything from Gerald Scarf anymore. It just seems like he's, I don't know, is he given up? I don't know. But um, um, he used to do a lot of really beautiful political stuff um, with Nixon and some of those old presidents. Um, I mean, I, I think they were all, I mean, Ralph Steadman and Scarf were both very kind of political based at one point and um, I don't know maybe some of the politicians at, at that time were a little bit more kind of grotesque you know, can I say that <laughs> can I say grotesque but I kind of feel like a lot of the politicians now I mean looking at poor old Boris and stuff like that I don't know they they kind of must be quite boring to to draw or to you know uh, I don't know I don't know well there's our 
there's our kind of a bending man. Then we're gonna, I'm gonna try and, well, well if, see, I'm, I, I'm trying to bring in a leg there, and I'm seeing Ralph's line coming in there, and I'm bringing, if I bring that in, will it crash, will it, I don't know. Well, let's just be brave. just be brave. Let's just bring that in there so that we've kind of got this this kind of business suit type man and um, have him walking on all fours like some kind of beast. I love that. I love that. The way that that kind of image comes across and again something that Ralph was very, very good at. He's probably the best at of doing these drawings that look so distorted, but they look so real. You know, they look, you kind of accept them, and that that's just beautiful. I love that. I just absolutely love the way that some of those images come across. And this, I love this kind of like man creature type thing you know it's like almost feeling like and I really hope that works I'm not sure that what, what I've got going there but um, I'll have to check back with my drawing yeah it gets a little bit thin down here so I might just thicken that up Keeping Ralph's line there and um, bringing in a lovely kind of pair of business shoes there, showing this suited creature. <laughs> line will come across there and then Ralph's line will come across the top and that should be a really lovely addition maybe that happens there's some coins falling out not that a politician would drop any coins but I kind of get the feeling that like he's he sucked so much money out of everybody that it's fallen out all over the place. So there we have Ralph's line there. Now I'm thinking what I can do here. And I've got this, the, if you remember, we've kind of got like four or five spots there. And that would be really nice to do something with it. And I'm trying to think of a kite or a balloon or something like that just to to finish that off yeah well let's just see what we've got we've got some kind of line that's coming down and going to double line that up. This is such a fun exercise to take somebody else's beginning, you know, and be a little bit kind of trying to keep their passion and their style. And I, I don't know if I've achieved keeping that style, but it feels absolutely fabulous I mean the whole kind of idea that the Ralph has put these drawing these lines down for us and just kind of let us kind of explore what he might have been 
working towards there. And these drawings are coming together quite quickly, if you notice. I mean, it's only a very, very quick couple of minutes there, and we've got a beautiful, chunky kind of drawing. And I really like that. There's something lovely about it. And I can't wait to put Ralph's line structure on top of that and then see how, how big that back is going to be on top of it. So there we have the businessman. Let's, let's put some kind of... There's a big space over there, so I'm just trying to think of some kind of money vulture. Money vulture is hunting down this this dreadful old businessman. And he's just spying him down. He knows where he is. just flying above him coming down to finish him off and there we have our drawing number four or five can't remember but that's beautiful I love that I love this businessman idea walking on all fours following Ralph Steadman's guideline here following his lines up putting a couple of balloons up there let's just put another one in just to Finish that off. Looks lovely. That's beautiful. I love that. And here we go at the end. We need to put our name down here. We need to show everybody. That we were part of this fun. There we are. So, thank you very much. And we will have one more drawing straight after this. Let me just put this away. Okay, so here we are again. Ah, remember to push the timer this time. <laughs> okay, so we're back to Ralph's line. And, um... Again, we're back with this big dome, and this big dome is coming up to here, and I'm really, really kind of excited to do some kind of lizard or some kind of crocodile or some something like that that would just give me that lovely fat body, and that's what I'm going to try to have a go at here. And... I don't have much space there, so I'm going to try to make it a very short, chunky animal. There's something beautiful about uh, spending your day drawing. You know, I, I, I kind of wake up very early and... Um, 
I love the idea of just waking up and just grabbing some paper, grabbing some ink and just, just exploring, just relaxing and letting something happen. And I'm quite sure that's probably similar to a lot of artists that it kind of gets to a point where you're, you kind of finding this kind of adrenaline fix, you know, it's like, you kind of get to a stage where you're doing so much of it and you're drawing so much that you've got to try and keep yourself excited, you know? And um, the only way that I've found to do that is by actually testing yourself and seeing where you could draw, what you could draw, and just letting your mind open and your mind draw something that you didn't even think about. And that's one of the, the beautiful things. It's like just kind of letting your mind wander, letting your mind just take you somewhere. And um, that's one of the beautiful things about being an artist that Sometimes you're not even sure where it's taken you. And some of these uh, experiences have, met, have left me to kind of draw something and then I'm, I'm kind of looking at it later on thinking, oh my God, that actually worked out really well, you know? And that I love this whole kind of surprise that it gives you, this whole kind of I mean, it keeps you excited as well. This kind of what is going to happen this morning? What is going to come out of your head? And here, I'm going to try to just bring in this very big, very overly fat crocodile. Let's see if I can bring that. And again, we're using we're using Ralph's original blot to keep that that shape, which really will be beautiful once that's once that's kind of come come through. And once we put these two drawings together, we're going to have some really lovely shapes. Well, we hope we haven't tried yet. I'm going to give him a big fat chunky legs give me big big gnarly toes you know those big big chunky kind of claws that crocodiles have This is a, a brilliant idea from, from Ralph to, to kind of give us this, this pleasure, this excitement of actually finding one of his lines to start us off and for us to kind of take it to the next stage. I mean, how many chances do you get? <laughs> you know, when I saw this, I was just so excited. I was like, brilliant. That means we're going to be doing a drawing together with Ralph Seven. This is just like half and half. It's like, there's the lines. What can you do? What can you show me? And it's like, oh, I was just so excited. I, I left it a little bit late. I should have started this, but here we are. And we're, we've done like four drawings or five drawings in one morning, you know, over the space of the last what, two hours? God knows how long this video is gonna be. But we've put it together in a very rapid, very exciting way. And, you know, we're kind of finding things as we go. Okay. So I need to have a little bit of a, a 
couple of toes there, so it shows that he's kind of taking a step forward. And another one there, so it kind of shows him in motion. And I think this is the first one that I've actually turned the camera on as well. So <laughs> I was going to try and do a, like the time lapse as well for these, but I kind of got too excited and it all got kind of. So you'll have a couple of them there, but. Cool. used up a bit too much space there so I'm gonna have to um, find a bit more space later on so here's what we're here's where the fun begins and here's where I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to bring in a brush here because this is really really exciting with with what Ralph has done there bringing that lovely curve in and I'm just gonna add to it I'm just gonna Kind of get this idea that it's part of his line, you know. We're we're kind of pushing those two things together, and we're gonna have his line up here. And that will be his line coming in there, which I'm just going to put that guide in because what I want to do is I want to do those lovely big chunky kind of spines or whatever you want to call them. I don't know what you call them that are on the top of the crocodile, you know, those big chunky parts. And I'm going to put a couple of them in there. I'm sure that's the type of thing that Ralph would have probably added if he was doing it. And that's just on top of where his line's going to be. And then we're gonna Now that's it following up the tail. And I'm gonna whip the top of that tail over there. Just to fill that space up there, give us some a little bit of extra. <laughs> oh, I like that one. That's come up really nice. Oh, I'm really glad I got the the camera working on this one, so you, I'll be able to put in a couple of um, speed drawings on this one, and you'll be able to kind of uh, see how it's come together. And you'll see actually over the the time lapse how how quickly these, you know, if you're fired up and excited by it, how quickly things come together. Uh, I hope Ralph likes these, if he ever sees these, I don't know if he, he's going to be seeing this, I don't know, hopefully. And that is our fabulous, absolutely gorgeous, chunky crocodile, let's just fill that space up there, because it's a bit, a bit empty up there. Wonderful. So there we have our big chunky gnarly crocodile built on Ralph's line and hopefully when that line comes round you'll have a lovely big thick back on it and that'll take us up onto the tail with where he's done his his lines beautiful very 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 happy with that that's that's going to be a nice one that's going to be very nice fabulous I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed the fun. I hope you enjoyed the whole drawing experience through this. And if 
Five minutes, let me put this away and we'll do another one. How exciting. <laughs> Okay, so let's go for another one. Right. I think there's been some lovely uh, sketches today. And it's been really, really good fun. So, let's try and, uh, let's try and work our way around with another one. And I've kind of got this idea of, um, some kind of bird because of that big base that we've got there and I'm going to try and get something coming in to make us look like some kind of big feathered bird and that really excites me because it's going to come down onto the onto the back of Ralph's line here and we're going to build on that lovely and then we've got obviously we've got Ralph's line that's coming up around there and that's coming up around there and that's where that line's going to be matching up with the, the the spots the drips of the top so we're going to try and go with a nice big big googly eyed bird and that's, that's a lovely idea. Ooh, careful, careful, careful. Oh, it's actually worked into the, the, fe the feathers, actually gives it like a very, beautiful kind of plumage type feeling to it. <laughs> That's cool. You see these kind of happy accidents are nice. Let's just try and get a nice big baggy eyed bird. Birds are beautiful to draw. I mean Every time you start to draw a bird, you just kind of get so, so, so excited drawing these birds. And let's just try and get a bit of weight on there with that. That must be. Lovely. And it gives us this lovely big, thick beak. Like the, the bird is pretty, but it's like really heavy, you know. <laughs> Can you imagine its beak is going to be like, like as heavy for its beak as it is for, for the actual bird itself. How fabulous is that? Bring in some of those kind of big wrinkles around the bird. Lovely, like that, I like that, I like that. And we're gonna get in there with this lovely big chunky beak. And you'll have Ralph's black there and that will just carry that off almost as part of the plumage of it, which will be a beautiful addition. come up really quite nice with that chunky big body onto it there and the way this splashes from the ink work here has actually arrived onto the thing it's actually given 
some very nice kind of spots of plumage onto, which I'm just going to enhance a little bit there. Beautiful. And then what we've got is we've got the bottom of Ralph's drawing is this base here that is all kind of it's quite quite gentle kind of spots and at the base of his drawing. And we're gonna tie tie them up with some of this loose and baggy feathers which hopefully will work very 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 nice there at the bottom just to add to what Ralph has done at the bottom and on the back of his and you can see where Ralph's done this big black kind of arm I'm going to bring in a couple of feathers to make make it look like Ralph's part here is actually part of the wing. And that should look really beautiful when that comes together. And now the fun part, doing these big, big, chunky legs. There's something beautiful about doing big toes and wrinkly feet and wrinkly fingers and stuff like that it's just it's just so much fun in it and it's you could kind of do this every day of the week you know it's so so lovely and that's these big big fat i love the, the idea of having big fat chunky toes almost like a I don't know, you imagine like a dodo's toes or something you know almost like prehistoric in the way that the, the feet are so thick to hold up this really short little fat body I'm going to bring that other leg in here so it really looks like the feet are kind of like holding him up because he's so heavy I hope you've been enjoying these because we're coming to the end now I think we'll, we'll probably might do another one if you if you're okay <laughs> we might do another one but it's just to show you that you know when you've been given an inspirational line from somebody like Ralph I mean you can basically I mean, that masterful way that he's done that just sets everything up for you. And that's really, really, really exciting. And then we can, in a couple of minutes time at the end of this, you can be able to see how the, uh, how the two lines come together and hopefully that will be exciting also. I'm hoping that they will come together in a very, very, very natural way. I'm hoping that it will look like one person has drawn these and that you won't have any breakup of style or anything like that. Um, I'm really looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to seeing how, how together they feel, you know. Especially when it's somebody that you kind of hold in very, very, very high regard, you know, as, a, as an illustrator, as a visionary for artwork. So to have this chance to doing this together is, is it's just amazing. So there we are. That's our bird. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the two lines together and we'll see how they look. Okay. Shall we do one more? Yeah, okay, let's do one more.
Okay, so we're back. Um, it's about one o'clock. So we've been drawing for about three hours. Uh, obviously with all the breaks and everything in between. And we're going to do one more. And I think that'll be... That'll be good for today. That's Ralph's guiding line. And what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try to use this, this shape that he's done here again. And I'm going to try to use this inner stripe at this point for the teeth of the, of the creature. And I'm going to try to do a very kind of kind of very lopsided elephant if I can. So let's start off the way that Ralph would start off to get, again to kind of pick up on that energy that he's already started on that. He started off this energy of this this driving force and that's what I'd like to get across here too. Lovely. And then what we're going to try to do is I'm going to try to I'm going to try to bring it down to be in a very big, heavy, old elephant. See the the, the lovely way that these. Ex these um, accidents happen. This line has come down from the splashes and it almost indicates some kind of cheek or some kind of part of his face. And I love that. I love the way that the ink kind of dictates a lot of things for you, it kind of guides you in a lot of ways. And that's something really, really beautiful about ink. And I don't really find that you come across that with, with other... Um, format or you know I don't feel it with paint and I don't feel it with uh, but with ink it comes across and basically says hey I'm gonna help you and I, I love that I love the way that it just kind of comes up and puts something down there for you to look at and for you to you know if you pick up on some of these clues that the, the ink gives you, then it's just beautiful. And I, I love the way that, I don't think I've kind of mastered that side of it yet, but I can see that Ralph has definitely mastered the way that he uses his, his paint. And he uses his paint in a way of kind of uh, mocking almost some of the, the skills that he's developed with uh, with his ink and uh, that that's just incredible um, I'm I'm definitely gonna have to work very 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 hard to to get to that stage but you know Ralph seems to just pick it up very very easily and that excitement the way that he knows when to use enough ink when to use enough paint and that's so powerful in some of his his artwork. And one of, one of my favorites is the, the like I said is uh, Animal Farm, and the, the, just the, the the energy that he gets there with the animals is just absolutely beautiful. And uh, there's so much there he's leaving for. So many of us to to learn from. And I'm hoping that in time my illustrations will be as strong as what he's doing. Beautiful. 
just love sometimes is the, the, the way the ink kind of comes together sometimes that just it's such a beautiful medium it just like you know I, I, I drew, used to draw with pencil for years and and uh, obviously working in animation and stuff like that is you're just kind of tied to the pencil and when I kind of got into the illustration I started to explore using ink and that's it I was hooked absolutely absolutely 1000 million percent hooked and the freedom of it and is just there's nothing like it So again, we've got Ralph's line here. I'm trying not to to um, work over that line. Just checking again where he's brought that to. Okay. So we've got that coming up. That's going up quite high. So I might have to bring that up a little bit higher, a bit heavier. Just to make that feel a little bit more part of what he's he's done, and we're going to bring these big droopy ears over the top of his line, not interfering with his line, but just bringing it over the top. Big old wrinkly elephant. And I love this idea of kind of having the feet very small and this kind of wrinkles of fat kind of coming over his over his legs. Again, just underneath Ralph's line there. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this this um, this drawing experience, this bit of fun and madness. I hope you really enjoyed it, and I hope well, I'll be able to do something like this again. But please pop down there and leave some comments. Let me know what you think. What you feeling? Um, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear some of your ideas of what's what we've done and um, how you felt. And you, you tell me about your ink. Tell me about your drawing and tell me how you got to see Ralph Stebbins' work as well. One of the, no, not one of, no, definitely not one of. He is the master of the illustration. He has been for a long time and he is the number one. And one day I'll be the number two. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. But there we are using Ralph's line and some of his kind of speckled lines around where the trunk area is and that's our very cute very lovable elephant thank you very much for watching this there's about eight drawings there I hope you'll enjoy them I'll put some of the uh, 
some of the speed camera with the, the speeded up drawings. I'll try and put that in together for you so you can see the drawing in real time and then you can see the speeded up. Uh, if you have enjoyed these, pop over and see me on www.kiernsiemens.com. Go and see my shop on Etsy. And of course, pop over, of course, to Amazon. There's 150 books, so go and have fun. Go and enjoy some of them. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very, very, very much. And I hope I'll draw for you again soon. Thank you.